four implications of President Trump's ban on Nigerians from the USA. Now, there's this picture that's been making the waves, that's been making the rounds on social media. Uh, it's a statistical presentation. It shows um, a, a chart of how Nigerians are the most educated immigrant group in the US. Nigeria is closely followed, according to that picture, is closely followed by um, countries like South Korea, China, the UK, and Germany. Now, one, you see stats like this, you see th those kind of images, and you wonder why President Trump placed Nigeria on the travel ban list. I mean, we were even placed alongside countries like um, Eritrea, Sudan, Tanzania, Kyrgyzstan and Myanmar. I feel like I should say Chris Kistan again, or Chris Kistan. Today I'll be sharing with you the implications of this ban for both Nigeria and America. Number one, why was Nigeria added to this ban? Why were we added to this list at all? According to an official of the American State Department, the new measures were the result of the failures by the six countries that have been banned, countries that have been banned to meet U.S. security and information sharing standards. President Trump first passed, uh, he first introduced the travel ban in the year 2017, just seven days after taking office, like seven days after he entered office. That was like one of the first things he did. Number two, will Nigerians be totally banned from traveling to America? The answer to this question is no. This means, this ban just means that Nigerians who want to move to the US permanently are the ones banned from seeking such opportunities. You know, before we used to have um, lotteries and everything that could, could, could just help you become an American citizen in after a number of years, but now those kind of things are no longer available to Nigerians. Instead, or however, visas will still be given to people who want to visit the US for temporary trips, you know, including visitors, those people doing business, you know, businessmen or businesswomen, or people who are seeking medical treatment in the US. Number three, America may suffer, and you may you might want, you might be wondering how would America suffer. But you have to understand that there's going to be a decline of there's going to be a decline in the number of Nigerian professionals who want to join the American workforce. Now that image that we're talking about earlier already shows that Nigeria has the highest number of individuals with college degrees in the U.S. And we already know that a lot of Nigerians work in various essential parts of the American economy. There's hardly any place you go to in America that you don't see a Nigerian who is holding a professional position who is doing a very, very amazing things. That is why we're saying America may suffer. Number four, more Nigerians will consider moving to Canada or Europe. Now, it is well known that Nigerians are everywhere in the world. However, because of this ban, more Nigerians who are looking at the US as their dream country will have no choice than to start looking at other countries. Now, they might be looking at countries like, like I mentioned, Canada, Australia, or even countries in Europe. You know, you never know, this, every Nigerians always like the opportunity to sow our seeds in every other part. So because of this ban now, a lot of Nigerians will be looking away from America and into other countries like we've mentioned earlier. Now, so guys, let me, let me ask this question now. So which country do you think you'd like to move to? Now that USA has been taken off the list, you can't become a citizen of America in the foreseeable future, at least for now. Which other country would you like to move to?